Welcome to the CERNbird chord mode video. As we explained in the main video, the left hand and the right hand are separated, just like on a real guitar. The left hand chooses the chord and the right hand triggers it in different ways. You can strum down, strum up and play the chords muted in two different ways. That is when the chord is pressed or when it's released. Then you have access to the six strings to play arpeggios or any finger picking. There also are three other triggers. The F sharp plays a chord half a note below and then gets to the selected chord upon releasing it. The G sharp will simply stop the chord as if you muted the chords with the left hand. and the A sharp 4 will stop the chord with a slide down. Separating up and down triggers with your right hand can take some adjustments. So the triggering can be set to auto to always use the same key to trigger the chord. The up and down movements are selected automatically by the script, depending on the position in the bar. If you don't like how the chords are set up, you can always use the piano chord mode. Instead of separating left and right hand, it will play chords just as you play them, and repeating any note of that chord will strum it again. The up and down movements are selected automatically by the script, depending on the position in the bar. The triggers will also work in this mode so you can mix both triggering options. The let ring function will let the chords ring. To stop them, you need to press a new chord or simply press the G4 or A sharp 4 triggers. The mixed mode lets you play solo notes and chords at the same time. If only one note is pressed or a legato is selected, then it will only trigger solo notes. And once you press three notes or more, the engine will play a chord. Now let's detail the chord parameters. The accent knob decides on the number of strings that will be played depending on the input velocity. So the harder you play, the more strings it will trigger. Setting it to the minimum will play all strings at the same time. The min string amount will decide the minimum number of strings played at the low velocity.
you can control how fast the chords are strummed, and you can change that value in real time. The clean play controls how good a guitar player would be at pressing the chord with his left hand. Sometimes one of the fingers is not perfectly in place and the note will not be perfect. Basically, this knob can make you playing more or less dirty. The strum center represents your right hand position over the strings. At 1, the chords will have more bass and at 6, more brightness. Represented the chord hammers in the main video. This is a new feature that helps you add some of the little things guitar players always do with the left hands, which is constantly playing hammer-ons and pull-offs while strumming or picking. What they do is go from one chord position to another similar one and move only the one or two figures that change. Well, you can do it here. Just select two close chords or change the voicings to make two of them close and while letting the corresponding triggers pressed, just go from one chord to the other. The chord recognition database is very large and contains many complex chords. Each chord also has many voicings at different positions on the neck, so there is always a voicing that will sound better with your chord progression. Since your keyboard has multiple octaves, we pre-assigned a voicing to each octave. But what if a chord you really like isn't in our list? Well, you can add your own chords using the edit button. Just select your chord, keep it pressed and click edit. Then change the numbers and testing using the triggers. Once the chord sounds like the one you want, you can override it or add it to the list. Then exit the edit list 
and start using your cord. You can also export and load the whole voicings and the song builder configuration by selecting edit and export or load. The capo feature just acts as a capo and you can choose to make it transpose or not. Ok, that's it for the chord mode. You can get the Sunbird library at acousticsamples.net. Thank you for watching.